Well, I think uh, what occurred there is after the research was done and uh, the case law was uh, brought forward as to uh, comparable sentencing, uh, I think both uh, Mr. Bright and myself were able to agree that 15 months was a fit and appropriate sentence that uh, fit well within the range of the uh, case law that we had found. So I, I think we were both on agreement with that. Well, there were two aggravating factors, really. Uh, it's the fact of uh, the victim being a very young person, very vulnerable, and the uh, position of the accused as chief of police and breaching uh, his trust, the trust that was put in him, was very egregious. As a society, uh, we depend on police officers to uphold the law and to protect us. So when a police officer breaches that trust that society uh, puts in them, it's, it's very disheartening for everyone in the community. And I think it's especially so when you have that person being a chief of police who should be setting an example for the men and the women that he leads. Well, I think you have to take into account uh, the repercussions uh, this has had on the accused. I mean, it's uh, turned his whole life upside down. He's lost his position as a chief of police. Uh, he's going to jail, uh, which is uh, not a pleasant experience for a police officer to find himself in jail with uh, a lot of people uh, that are not going to be fans of his. Uh, so. Uh, uh, you have to also consider that uh, Mr. Collier had uh, no prior criminal record. Uh, you can't deny the fact that uh, he's done a lot of good within the community. So I think a person who's aware of all of those factors uh, would find that 15 months incarceration followed by one year probation is a pretty good sentence.